Hey guys, this is Disman here from Zetcub, and tonight we're going to have a little fun with Zcash D and setting it up for the first time for those who may have questions on how to use the Zcash D wallet tool. And then we're also going to, um, once the node is fully synced, we can separately start Zec Wallet full node and see how that would work. And then finally, we would, we're going to import a private key into your Zcash D using Zec Wallet full node. And so as you can see, I do have a secret key here. Uh, it should be noted that by the time this video is on the net, the funds will already be gone. And we should never post private keys um, on online. This is only for educational purposes. All right, so if you try to run the Zcash wallet tool, it'll talk about saying, well, we're trying to connect to Zcash D, but we can't find it. And part of the issue is you have to use the export dir option. So let me go ahead and do that now. I'm going to use for, in my example, I'm going to have this, uh, this location be my uh, my uh, directory that I want to, the private key to be, or the seed phrase to be placed. So let me start. Um, see, cache D with the export your option equals. Let me just copy and paste that. Okay. And in my case, the full node's already been synced. So obviously, if you haven't had your node sync yet, it'll take a, a while to sync up. But for purposes of this video, it's going to be a lot faster. So let's just uh, let it look, catch up to the latest block height and we'll move forward from there. Okay, well now we're gonna go back and let's run that command again. Oh, so looks it seems that it needs to be fully initialized before it'll allow you to run the tool. So here we go. All right, so this time, once the Zcash D was fully loaded, not necessarily to the latest block height, but at least fully loaded, we can run the tool, Zcash D wallet tool. And it says, to reduce the risk of the loss of funds, we're going to confirm the Zcash D wallet is backed up reliably. Check that you can connect to, yep. Now we're gonna enter a file name for the export file. So we'll just stick to the default. And it says, please write down this phrase, including the numbers of the words on something durable that we'll keep in a secret location. So for purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to do something which I don't recommend you do, which is copy and paste this, because it's a lot faster in this case. But for those who are watching, you're definitely going to want to write this on a piece of paper, not put it on your computer anywhere. Okay. Press enter when finished. Second word. 21st word. Fifth word. All right. So now if we go into our directory here, Zcash demo, we have a file, which if we open up, we'll have all of our C 
seed phrase and addresses backed up. Okay, so that's parts done. Next step is we need to turn off the export dir option. So what we're going to do is briefly stop Zcash D. Okay. So we just use the command line interface to do that. And we'll restart it minus the export dir option. There you go. Now I'll just let this reload. And once we have done this, you can use it to create new addresses, or in our case, I'm going to start Zek Wallet full node, and it'll allow you to use the front end to send and receive Zcash. So let me just let this load up and we'll start. Rewinding blocks. All right, so now we are ready to, let me go ahead and clear this screen. And we're going to start Zek Wallet, full node. You can download this on their uh, GitHub repository. I just using the app image. Oh, no counts. Please run Zcash D wallet tool. I did. What's going on here? for the technical difficulties Z get new account okay now let's reload sec wallet full node and it should load up awesome again so in case others have that error like i did where it shows you you need to create an account even though you already use the zcash wallet tool you do have to use the zcash command line interface to call the z underscore get new account um, rpc to create that initial account and then it will let you do it all right so let me go back here minimize everything And we want to, since we don't have any Zcash, but we do have this secret or this private key we want to import. So how would you do that? You go to File, you go to Import Private Keys, you copy here, paste, you import, and. The import process for the private key has started. This will take a long time. It could take a long time, up to six hours. Please be patient. All right. So for purposes of this video, we will let this complete. And when it's done, I will come back. All right, guys, back here. And it looks like our import finished. We have our transaction here, and that concludes the tutorial. Um, some follow-up here. Once the, I would recommend keeping this export file off your main computer, putting it into an external or something more secure, and then deleting it off your computer. You don't want anyone finding that information. And lastly, um, 
just keep in mind all this uh, information, the seed phrase here and private keys, they should not be posted anywhere publicly because those are um, information that can lead to loss of funds. So appreciate you taking the time watching this tutorial. Any comments, concerns, let us know. See you next time.